What is up guys? We are back with another video, man. And today we have the SC3 by Fifine. Now this is going to be their gaming mixer slash audio interface. You can call it a gaming mixer or audio interface, but you're going to be able to plug your XLR microphones, headphones, all that stuff into this and control some of the sounds and tweak some of the settings and so forth and so on. All right. So if you're podcasting, streaming, gaming and all of that, this is going to be a cool audio interface for you. So first and foremost, shouts out to Five Five for sending this over. I really do appreciate it, man. And just like any other time, guys, you already know, we're going to take a look at what comes inside the box. I'm going to show you guys where you can pick it up from. And today, I think I want to go ahead and test every single Five Five microphone that I have that will that's actually compatible with this. So every XLR microphone that I have, we're going to use it. So that's the K688, the AM8, the K669C, and the K669D. So we're going to test out the audio quality of all those microphones with this audio interface all right let's get to it all right guys so i have my ipad right here man and we're going to go over a couple of quick things on amazon man about this actual mixer before we go into the unboxing uh and testing uh but number one it's going to run 49 bucks i think that's a steal already 49 dollars i mean i already could tell you right now you really can't beat that right now for 49 bucks man but again um it's just a audio interface it does have 48 volt phantom power. It has auto tune. You can customize uh, some sound effects and stuff like that, man. Uh, well, as far as recording your own sounds into it, you got four customizable buttons. Let me say that um, it has RGB. I think it has a couple of different cycles of RGB. Um, you can mute it. You can actually monitor the actual audio, man. Uh, it has voice changers, all of that good stuff, man. You can plug in XLR. And I think that XLR plug is like a combo jack i'm not 100 percent sure uh, but you can plug it into your pc you can run a line out into something like your ipad or like your iphone or something if you want to run some music through it you can plug in uh, studio monitors and all of that good stuff man um and yes right here it says it has five kinds uh, of optional rgb so you can cycle through all of the colors man with one actual button man i think that's cool so uh you got voice changing auto tune for they vote phantom power yeah we went over that uh and then really um what it looks like here on the screen to me, man, is that it's just something small, compact, and portable. All right, so um, just with that quick little information, man, I think it's better to just go ahead and dive in so we can get into testing this bad boy. So let's go into the unboxing. First things first, once you open it, you're gonna be greeted with the user manual. And this user manual has a lot of good information in it uh, to help you get yourself up and running. So I highly, highly suggest you take a look at it. Next up, you're going to have your USB-C to USB-C cable, but it also has the USB-A adapter. Next, you're going to have your 3.5 cable. This is gonna be able to plug uh, into your line in, your line out, and so forth. And last but not least, you're gonna have the audio interface itself. Uh, and first off, man, it's lightweight, all right? It's compact, it's lightweight. You could throw this in a bag and you won't even notice that it's there, all right? It's made of some very hard plastic, but the build quality feels up to par, okay? Uh, on the back, you're gonna have all of your inputs and stuff. So you got your PC, your line out, headphone, line in, headset, you got your dynamic and condenser switch, and then you're gonna have your XLR port on the back as well. Flipping it over to the front, uh, you got your mic monitoring levels and your headphone monitoring levels. Then you're gonna have your 48 volt phantom power button. You're gonna have your auto tune button, which is called electric on here. It goes all the way from A to E. Then you're gonna have your four custom buttons, A, B, C, and D. Uh, and then on the other side, you're gonna have your voice changer, uh, which goes from male, female, robot, monster, baby, and elder. All right, and you're gonna have your RGB button up at the top. You got all of your four sliders, and then you got all your, your mutes for each one of your sliders, your headphones, and so forth. And again, this is every single thing that comes inside of the box. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into a little bit of testing with this thing just to run through some of the features really, really fast so we can test these other microphones. First and foremost, I've been using the K688 and this audio interface the whole time we've been recording this video from start all the way up until right now. Voice over every single thing has been done. K688, SC3. So if you like the audio quality of this combination, drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. And I did that on purpose so that you guys can hear what this microphone sounds like right now. And then when I switch over to the other couple of microphones, you can kind of hear a significant difference between the mics. All right. So right here at the top, you got your 48 volts. You got your uh, monitoring levels here and your monitor levels there for the headphones. The reason why you don't see the headphone monitoring level, even though monitoring is turned on, is because I'm monitoring in Audacity. And for some reason, when you press monitor in Audacity, it doesn't let you monitor the audio. So right now, I can't hear myself. All right. So you're going to have to work with me in this part of the video. All right. Right here, you got your auto tune button, which says electric. So if I press it one time 
and auto tune turns on just like this. So this is what auto tune sounds like. If I press it again, I can go through A, B. It's a lot of different uh, auto tune settings right here, uh, but this is just what a couple of them actually sound like. So auto tune, auto tune. Now I don't really care for auto tune, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off right now. Down here, you're gonna have your custom A, C, B, and D buttons. Uh, and because I can't hear myself in the headphones, I kind of really don't wanna press and record it, but I just tell you guys how to do it. All you're gonna do is hold this button once it turns white. You'll start recording. Once you take your hand off the button, you press it again and boom, you should be able to hear whatever it is that you recorded, whether that be sound effects or anything like that. So that's what your custom buttons, your four custom buttons is actually for. All right. Right here, you got your mute, two mute buttons, your mic uh, mute and the uh, mute button right here for the line out now. Right here, all these faders and stuff is what's going to adjust your mic volume, the um, studio monitor volume, my headphone volume, and so forth, okay? So this mic, this mute button mutes the mic, mutes the line in, and then right here you got your headphones. So if you plug your headphones in and you have this uh, button pressed, you can monitor the audio through the headphones. If you got line in for the uh, audio um, for the audio uh, speakers, the, um, yeah, your audio speakers external, uh, that's what this volume button right here, what this volume knob is for. All right, so hopefully that just made sense. I feel like I kind of said that really fast. But anyway, it's kind of self-explanatory in a sense, all right? So up here at the top, you got your RGB button, and this is how it comes in the box. This is the original start up look right here, and you have a little ambient light glowing down here at the bottom as well. So if I was in like, if it was dark in here, you would be able to see that, you know what I'm saying? So press it one time. It's going to do like a little breathing effect. It's going to kind of fade in between each one of the colors uh, simultaneously. Then you'll press it again. Now it's going to do like this heavy breathing effect where uh, it kind of fades out and it breathes into a different color, just like that. Press it again. It's going to cycle through, just like you see here, cycling through each color. Press it one more time. Now you're into your solid color. So that's red. You got like a yellowish, orangish looking color there, green another green to me, uh, blue, and then another darker blue, and then purple, and then you're back to square one. All right, so future J here, guys, I had to uh, interject right here because it was one feature that I forgot to mention uh, just a second ago, and that was the voice changing uh, feature. So you have male, female, robot, monster, baby, and elder. So let's just go through them real quick. So this is the male voice. This is what it sounds like uh, if you was to use this voice Next, we're going to have the female voice. So this is the female voice. This is what it sounds like if you want to use the female voice. Next, we have the robot voice. And again, this is what it sounds like if you wanted to try out the robot voice. Right here, we have the monster voice. And this is what it sounds like using the monster voice out of the Fire Fine SC3. Next, this is the baby voice. And this is what that sounds like as well using the SC3. All right? And last but not least, we have the elder voice. And this is what the elder voice sounds like using the SC3. So again, that's just a real quick down and dirty because we did an unboxing. We talked a little bit about it then, but I just want you guys to see it in actual action. But I mainly want you guys to hear what the audio quality sounds like because all these buttons and functions, they are great, but it's all about the audio quality. This thing is compact, it's small, it sits on your desk, it's not gonna be in your way, but what does that audio quality sound like? So this is the K688, pair it with it. Let me know what you guys think of this audio quality. And right now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other microphones and we're gonna start cycling through each microphone so we can just kind of test out the audio quality, all right? Let me grab the other mics. All right, so right now we have the K669C. This is a condenser microphone. We have it plugged into the SC3. Now, one thing you gotta remember is that when you plug this microphone in, do not forget to switch the back to condenser and you're gonna have to run the 48 volt with the K669C. All right, so this is the audio quality coming out of the SC3 and the K669C. Nothing's gonna be done to the audio quality uh, in post, everything you're hearing right now is just coming straight from the K669C. And again, prior to pressing the record button in Audacity, I was able to listen to the audio back through the headphones, and I think it sounds uh, really good. I think it sounds crispy. Um, I think it sounds clear. And to me personally, paired up with this, you can't beat it. Again, 49 bucks for the SC3. I think the K669C and D, I think they're like 29 to $39. So Think about that that setup. That's a real easy uh, setup to get some good audio quality. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and move to the K669D. All right, guys, so now we have the K669D plugged in. And again, this is a dynamic microphone plugged into the SC3 uh, mixer audio interface. And again, do not forget to switch the 
uh, settings back to dynamic microphone. All right, make sure you got it switched. You don't have to run the 48 volt with this dynamic microphone. But again, this is the audio quality coming out of the SC355 mixer uh, audio interface with the K669D. I want you guys to let me know what you think of this audio quality. There will be nothing done to this audio quality. It's going to be straight up. You're hearing it just the way it sounds. And again, I'm recording in Audacity and I can't hear the audio, but I did monitor it prior to pressing uh, the record button in Audacity. So I do know what it sounds like. And to me, it sounds really uh, good. It sounds like to me, the dynamic microphone sounds a little bit more, uh, has like a little bit more of a, a low end, like kind of bassy kind of sound to it. To me, uh, almost sounds like that gives you that podcast feel. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think of this audio quality. Uh, there's no real need to do uh, plosive tests and things like that because we're actually not testing the microphones. We're just testing uh, the actual audio interface. But I just want you guys to see what the microphones sound like paired with the audio interface. All right. So with that, let's move to the last mic, which is the AM8. All right, guys. So right now I have the AM8 paired up with the Fifine SC3 audio interface. And again, I wanted you guys to see what all of these microphones sound like with this audio interface so that if you was to pick up this audio interface, you would know which microphone you want to go with. All right. So again, this is the AM8. I'm not doing an actual microphone test. I'm not doing plosives and all of that stuff because the goal is to just let you see uh, what this audio interface sounds like with these microphones. And we're talking about uh, the audio interface, you know, in its entirety. All right. So this is the audio quality coming out of the AM8 with this audio interface. Hopefully it sounds good. I did get an opportunity to listen to it prior to pressing record and audacity in the headphones. And to me, it sounds great. I think every single one of these microphones sound great. I just think it depends on where you want to fall uh, with, with pricing and where do you kind of want to sit as far as the sound quality all right you know if you want that podcast you know streaming sound or whatever the case then maybe you should go with the am8 you know what i'm saying if you just want like youtube style then maybe you should go with the case 69d but if you want maybe like that professional kind of sleek looking style then maybe you should go with the k688 you know what i'm saying so really it's up to you man it really just depends but let me know what you think of all of the microphones uh paired up with this audio interface as far as the audio quality is concerned all right all right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and close out right here, man, with the AM8. We're going to let the AM8 take us out of here, man. So, again, shouts out to Five Five for sending over this SC3 audio interface, man. I really do appreciate it, and I think that it's a great audio interface. It's very small. It's compact, and for the price of $49 with all of the functions and features that you get with it, I feel like you really can't beat it. So, again... Shouts out to Five Five for sending it over. Now, if you guys found this video to be helpful in some way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man, Jay, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.